Shanna left you, left you, my own me to step two, step two. I would like to get to know if I could be the kind of girl that you could be down for. Cause when I look at you, I feel something tell me. Harsh lighting. Hey guys. Up. Long. We are pulling into a parking bay. And we are going for supper at Burger and Lobster tonight. They invited us to come have supper there. Probably the first time in... It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Shanna left you, left you. My own me to step two, step two. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. And I thought I'd bring you guys with me. So let's go. Guys, look at this milk check. This is a salted caramel and lint chocolate. And it is, it's quite big. I mean, that's my fish. This is a big boy. Get in there, bro. So good. Our food has arrived. I ordered the wolf burger, which is a, it's like a beef burger and lobster mixture. It's really, really good. Like, like really good. And Paula got mac and cheese. And and truffle lobster mac and cheese. There's just a lot going on in there. Um, so just FYI, this is absolutely delicious. Ooh, that's steamed though. Get the crispy cheese on top. So good. Was it good? Knockout, but I'm still gonna help over here. This is so good. There's like really big pieces of lobster in here. Hey guys. The sticker is so bright. We have come to Boschendal today. It's the first time that we've ever been here. It's so pretty. Like we drove in and it's like wow, it's so pretty. We have a booking for the restaurant, like basically now. Yeah, we're just gonna have breakfast and then check out this place. See what it's all about. My hair is doing this weird thing here. So yeah, let's go check it out. Slightly annoyed. Slightly, because we made a booking for before 11 and then we got you and the girl wrote it down as half past 11. So now we're just like sitting here. But she didn't tell you that she made a booking at like half past 10. This is the last minute I'll come. But she made the booking. Regardless if it's last minute.com, you made the booking. A few moments later. Thank you. So we were seated and I think like five minutes after we complained, not bad. So they say that you can't make a booking on the day and we did and they still accommodated so that's good. But if you are coming please make a booking before. So we both ordered the Angus burger. We just finished eating and are we going to walk around a little bit? Okay. So bad. Just a little bit because it's very pretty and the weather is so nice as well. If you guys do come here, I would recommend, like Lorenzo said, making a booking and also I would recommend the burger. It was quite rich but very delicious. The burger patty is like really big. Order the, I think it's an Angus burger. Mm. So they have fresh produce growing over here and you can purchase this at the farm shop that they've got on the premises. We came from doing grocery shopping. Previously someone had asked me to show what we buy when we go grocery shopping. I think before I start, I just want to let you guys know that whenever we buy anything at the shop, I always sanitize it with this hand disinfectant wipes. 
I get these at Dischem. I think they're like 40 something rand. Like these are the ones that I keep buying every time. This is the fa my favorite one that I get. The Tropical Splash, I really like it. Also got some greens. I'm obviously not gonna show you guys like every single thing. So that's a bit like boring. This is the cheese that we like to get. Um, we tried one of the other ones recently, some four cheeses thing and it wasn't so nice. So this is the one that we always get. And I bought this because I want to try this out. Um, I haven't tried this before. I, if I, I have used the butter chicken like mix, the dry spice. But I saw this and I thought it would be quite nice to try out. So this is a three step cooking sauce. Yeah, apparently you literally just need oil, this cooking sauce, chicken breasts, coriander and some fresh cream which is optional. I'm not going to use fresh cream. I like to use coconut cream when I make butter chicken. Obviously we've got some meats. So these will last us for about two weeks I think. Um, yeah, I don't go grocery shopping that often. So I just got some chicken breast for the butter chicken and then also we are having leftover pasta tonight so we're also going to have some of the chicken breast in there. Then I got some chicken, like normal chicken. Friends and I have been really enjoying this pork. So this is the pan fried pork chops and guys it's so delicious. Very succulent, very tasty, very nice. And then I got this because we want to kind of like change up like what we've been eating for lunch lately. So I got this again. And this is the crispy chicken breast strips. It comes in a pack of eight. That's what it looks like. And basically, I enjoy these kinds of things together where it's like a little side something with a salad or whatever. Because I don't want to eat like sandwiches and stuff like all the time. And then I also got the oven chips. We actually haven't tried this one before. Um, I have to like break these apart, separate them, but I'll show you guys what I do for that. I think I have shown you before in another vlog, like when we still lived in our other apartment, but I'll show you like how I sort everything out and basically pack everything for meals. <laughs> like having sweet things after we have supper and this is their like lemon tea cake it's really really yummy if you do like lemony stuff like it's their lemon drizzle tea cake but like this glaze on it as well this is the coconut cream that i'm going to use for the butter chicken and I'm gonna make spaghetti bolognese very soon as well. So I just got another one of these and I got a little red onion. Got some new softener. Um, I really like this one and I like the purpley pink one as well. Something that is new that I haven't made at home yet, but I really want to. I bought this passion fruit flavored cordial. I really wanna have passion fruit and lemonade at home i bought the cordial and then i also bought some lemonade and some things for the washing this is the washing liquid that i use well these are the capsules which i really prefer compared to like washing powder and stuff because this comes with like your softener it's a screen one and parents and i like to have sweets now i need two packs of sweets and lastly, some Evo. I haven't had these ones before, the Flavor Burst Gem Avocado. They're quite big. So I wanted to show you how I separate everything with my freezer bags. 
Oh, and the other thing I wanted to also mention was we bought some pods. So these are like um, Glad, like Ziploc bags. What I do is I just count how many pieces are in the pack and then I separate them by like, everything is in two. Because Loretta and I are the only ones who live here. So we all have a piece of meat each. And after every use, Lorenzo makes sure that he washes the bags so that they're ready for the next one. So whenever I want to defrost the pack, I literally just take one of these out and then it's that much easier. And then obviously when I defrost it, then I'll like clean everything. I'll take all the parts that I don't want in. I just remove that. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog. It's a little bit short, a little bit random, but I hope you enjoy it and I will see you guys next time. Bye!